Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the sign of Gemini. So Gemini, a cross watcher, please do me a favor. Only claim this reading from your higher self and for your higher good in a helpful, positive manner. Or not at all, okay? And also, we love you. Thank you. All right, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Gemini. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Gemini. Gemini, we're working with energy. It's fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. All right? Hold on a second here now. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Gemini. Whoa! <laughs> Gemini. Harmony. So you have uh, the 28th could be of significance or the 10th or something about October. Somebody here is in harmony with themselves and everyone else. Someone here has a very conducive relationship, okay, that you and this person, yeah. Now, yeah, I'm seeing like afternoon, afternoons, I'm seeing like an afternoon hookup. Nice. All right, so what's going on? Is there some kind of hookup you got going on over there, Gemini? <laughs> All right, I'm seeing roses. Here we go. You have... Okay, somebody's surrendering. It says... Okay. For those of you that might be having a little thing on the side, somebody might be finding out about it and leaving. Somebody might be surrendering. Yeah, you could be surrendering to anything. I got to tell you the truth. It's Capricorn energy now. A situation. Your lover. Somebody leaving, perhaps. But there is a lot of harmony in someone's relationship out there, whether it's a hookup relationship or a... Tell me what's going on. Okay, great. Now you have... You have transgression. See what I'm saying? Somebody here, like, is doing something that they shouldn't be doing, I think, okay? Maybe in the afternoons. This could be you or somebody else. You know, it's... It could be causing some kind of a situation where, you know, somebody's surrendering to it and just um, letting it go in some way. Yeah, freedom. Somebody's going to get their freedom here. Somebody's cutting ties. Somebody's cutting pictures. Somebody's cutting everything up and just taking a choice over here to go with whatever transgression that they are committing. And also, here, you know, it seems to be within, in some kind of harmony with themselves, though. I'm, I'm hearing harmony within yourself. This is what I'm hearing. So whatever that means, I don't even know, okay? Here we go. We have Aquarius energy now. Show me the, uh, Show me, yeah, Gemini, 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 Gemini. Okay, that came right out. Gemini, oh, gee whiz. I like the way they're popping, Gemini. You guys got something to say? Okay, we got the top row out. Here we go. And they all seem to land just in the places where they needed to go, right? Okay, here we go. All right, well, look at this. So we're going to start with 888. 888 megahertz, 888 hertz across the board, okay? This is to remove any negativity. You're starting out with an ace, eight of cups here. What did I tell you somebody was moving on? Did I tell you somebody's leaving? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Look. So whether this is you moving on from a situation or somebody else or several situations, somebody is not fulfilled or happy and they're going to find their emotional fulfillment, the last two cups, right? Somewhere else. This may feel like they're climbing a mountain. It might be a hard thing to do, but somebody's doing it. They're determined. Okay. Now, you have the morning in reverse, which is telling me something about the evening. Somebody might be leaving in the evening. Somebody might come home from work and find somebody's gone. Uh, somebody might, you know, anything could be happening in the evening. You could be getting contact from somebody. Yeah. Some of you might have trouble, you know, sleeping at night. I'm seeing this. Three of torches at the foundation of the situation. So, someone gained some confidence here, okay? This is what they did with the three of torches. And they took the lead in the situation. And they had some kind of end game. And they gained a little momentum. And with a little foresight and growth, there they go. Now, crowning you, you have an eight of swords. Meaning somebody's going to be stuck up in their head. Maybe with some lead that they took or some direction that they took here. Or the fact that somebody's leaving. Somebody... Eight of Swords is ruminating thoughts, it's worry, it's fear, it's anxiety, okay? It's having a problem for every solution and almost ready to go to the nut house. It's the beginning of very severe depression. It's the beginning of, you know, really bad insomnia. It's post-traumatic stress. So somebody's stuck in an Eight of Swords. You or somebody else here? Something about... I can see a... a blue, I'm hearing Blue Planet? A Blue Planet? Well, we're on the Blue Planet, so what the hell are you talking about? I don't know. 
we got the blue planet are you what oh okay so my, no maybe some of you are watching like the discovery channel or something the blue planet something about whales and seeing whales in the water and the blue. <laughs> no, okay whatever let's keep going please before we get crazy here well too late for that spirit said <laughs> gemini spirit said too late for that here we go all right so here we go you cannot some of you guys working at the gym and working their ass off. They're working on their lower back, like that. There's two little dimples in their lower back. Somebody, maybe somebody likes those two little dimples sexually in somebody's lower back. Princess of torches. Well, yeah. So this is, obviously you could be dealing with some kind of a younger energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or this could be some kind of you know upbeat message that you're gonna get. You know, it's not bad news. It's exciting news to say the least. But you know, this is an energy of someone who is. Very energetic and extroverted and cheerful and fearless. It is the, you know, it's the princess of torches. So, yeah, it could be a new project, a creative idea, or a free-spirited, lusty energy, right? Somebody's going after what they want without thinking of repercussions or consequences, right? It's an instantaneous, self-gratifying energy. Someone who's very bold and daring, I will tell you. Something about a... Yeah, hold on. Asteroids or meteors? I'm seeing a meteor shower. Somebody, okay, so some, the blue planet, a meteor shower. Somebody's watching like National Geographic or some shit. Like this. Yeah. Somebody's out doing some kind of crazy grounding with bare feet. Show me what's going on here. Looks like somebody's walking on hot coals. I don't know what. To, I don't know what's going on. Okay, something's not balanced. Are you looking at this like there's some kind of an imbalance here? Now the eleventh could be of significance here, okay? Or uh, November. Justice is in reverse, meaning that there is um, something going on for Gazy. There's some kind of dishonesty, some kind of corruption. Yeah, some kind of unfairness. There's some kind of karmic retribution that needs to be paid over here. What's going on? Ah, uh, justice in reverse. It could be some kind of legal problem. It could be a kid that got themselves in trouble. Maybe. Oh my God, I don't want to say that. Is there a kid out there setting fire somewhere? Oh my God. All right, listen. Yeah, oh my God, look what I'm telling you. The devil, Capricorn energy. So, in your environment, you have some toxicity. Whatever that is for you, okay? It's going to be different for everybody. The point of the devil is that somebody could be obsessed with something. Somebody could be addicted to anything somebody could have some kind of mental illness remember i told you up here at the beginning of it somebody could have you know some yeah like like i don't know what you would call that when you go set fires to things whatever you call that now i'm not saying somebody's doing that maybe it's just an example but it, it's like some kind of sickness that they they the devil it's the devil it's capricorn energy for horrible i i don't know what to tell you i mean everybody knows what the devil is nobody wants to deal with the devil there's secrecy going on, there's addiction, obsession, there's uh, dependency, there's perversion, there's what? It's disgusting, that's all it is. The 15th can be of significance to some of you. Well, that reduces to 6, so the month of June. Here, this is 10 of Pentacles. What kind of a... So there's a Capricorn... Listen, somebody could be obsessed with money and wealth as well. But we do have a 10 of Pentacles here. So, as advice, with spirits advising you, Gemini, is to stay concentrated on your wealth, your financial stability, your material stability, your family, your legacy, whatever you're building, it's the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Stay stay focused because you're the only one, I feel like, that could get this for yourself. Uh, you know, I don't know how that's happening, but yeah, but something's not balanced. Could be with a child. It could be, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles as advice, I mean, that's really saying that, you know, you really need to keep your head in the game. Um... And if you're building some kind of a, a, a foundation for yourself, <coughs> or any kind of new traditions, excuse me, <coughs> any kind of new traditions that will invoke some kind of legacy, you know, it, and yeah, it's a it's a solid foundation. Some of you could be getting an inheritance, but I'm feeling like this is something that you're building. Spirit wants you to concentrate on on you, okay? You and your stability and your financial wealth, and whatever legacy you're building there, it'll be different for everybody. Show me. Okay, there's an ace of swords. Some kind of truth or clarity is going to come out in a situation. You're going to see something very clearly. This is the facts, okay? It's an ace of swords. It's also going to be some kind of a victory for you, though, okay? Uh, oh, my God. What's going on? 
There's a three of swords. You're going to find out about some kind of emotional pain, something. Some of you might find out about a third party situation, Gemini. I'm, and this is why you're cutting ties. Look, see, cutting ties with a person. Cutting somebody's pitch, cut, yeah. Cutting them, their faces out of the picture. Taking the lead and moving away. See, moving away here. Maybe stuck in your head while you're doing it. But you need to, you know, give me moving away from somebody who's like younger or immature. This is what? It's not a balanced relationship. And I guess somebody can have some kind of addiction or something here. I mean, it could be anything. It could even be they're addicted to the phone. But also, too, that's a dangerous thing because there's everything on the phone. The phone opens up a lot of options, right? Seven of Cups. There's anything at the tip of your fingers, right? Even Beyonce couldn't keep up. With, you know what I mean? Like... If somebody wants to cheat, all they got to do is hit a button nowadays. Is that not right? Yeah. So here you go. Three of swords. Some kind of emotional pain. Whatever emotional pain this is for you, it could be all different things. But it could be a third party situation, obviously. Somebody might have had a lot of options and they're out there doing their thing. Somebody might have had Leo in their chart very highly. There is a new opportunity coming in. You're going to have to pick a path with somebody from your past. You're going to have to make a choice. I feel like it's a quick choice which way you want to go because there's a new financial opportunity coming in for a lot of you. All right? But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to complete some kind of a cycle first. But I think it's, it's all going to turn out good. Let's clarify because, you know, yeah, show me. Gemini, please, Eight of Cups. What's the, what's the card for the Eight of Cups? Show me, please, and thank you. Okay, Eight of Cups, you are clarified by, ooh, the King of Wands in reverse. What am I telling you? All right, so if you watch me, you know the King of Wands in reverse. High Leo energy, but fire, Aries Leo or Sagittarius for, you know, you two, but it's high Leo, is the narcissist. It's the player. It's the one that's going to blood bomb you. You're going to fall madly in love, and then they're going to treat you like a piece of shit. They're going to cheat on you. They're going to lie. They're going to do everything, okay? They're going to, whatever, whatever narcissists do, you name it, they're going to do it. They're going to blame it all on you. Then they're going to ignore you and ghost you. That's what this person is going to do. They're going to use you, okay? So the king of wands, I wonder why you need to walk away. Walk away. Even if... Oh, God, yeah, in the morning? I don't know. Maybe in the early morning? Like, maybe some of you are going to come home from work and leave or something like this. I don't know. Tell me what's going on. Ten of Swords. Painful ending. That's it. Done. Good, bad, or indifferent. It's finished forever. Huh. This almost killed you. Look at all those knives in your back. I'm hearing love lies bleeding. Love lies bleeding. Oh, my God. So, three of Torches. Somebody got a little... Uh, confidence here and decided to uh, make a move. Bust a move. And they got the king of swords. So that's you. Being very clear thinking. Male or female. Even though it's a masculine energy, it's an energy of somebody very clear thinking. Very uh, disciplined. Using their head over their heart. Knowing what they got to do. Not happy about it. This person's not happy about it. But making the right decisions for themselves. Not letting their emotions run away with them. and Like ignoring the fact that there's a narcissist here. There's a painful ending. You need to walk away. That's it. That's it. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just Free will, free will. This is just energy that's around you. Maybe some of you need to do some soul searching. Maybe somebody's going through a dark night of the soul. But this is about taking your life lessons and your life experiences and transmuting them for your higher good. Learning from them, okay? Ascending spiritually so that you can, you know, make better choices. And also your, your experiences and stuff can help other people. That's why they call it the wise old sage. It has nothing to do with your age. Somebody does have a, um, a beard here, though. And somebody smokes a pipe. Show me. Show me. It's coming in. The Princess of Torches. What is this? So, you see that King of Wands up there? That could be this, uh, yeah, Princess, okay, the Empress. All right, so somebody here, Taurus energy is very fertile. Be careful you're not knocking anybody off. Please use protection out there if you don't want children, okay? Um, somebody here could be some kind of an entrepreneur. Somebody here could be doing something worldwide. Somebody here is the best attributes of all four queens rolled up into one, okay? Maybe they're very um, energetic and free-spirited, this person, but this person has their shit together, okay? They have dignity, class, and self-respect, and everybody looks at them that way as well, all right? So something's not fair in this situation with this empress that has a very vibrant personality. <laughs> oh, shit. So you're dealing with an empress that has a very vibrant personality with the princess of torches. So they may have earth and fire in their chart. Okay, this person. The third could be of significance or March. Show me. So it's a go-getter. Somebody who's fearless, young. Even if they're not age-wise young, this person is young at heart. Like, that's what it is. But they have their shit together. They're like, it's an empress, okay? They won their own empire. 
Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Well, here we go. Something's unfair and unbalanced. So here comes the Knight of Swords. Now, this could be you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, coming in to say something. Somebody's got something to say. Somebody needs to articulate themselves here. Could have been about some toxicity or something like this. I don't know. You could be going out to say something to this person, or this person could be coming. This person could be coming in to say something to you. Depending on who the Empress is here. <coughs> Hold on a second, guys. I need something to drink. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. Don't forget now, the Empress is marriage material, right? So. Something might have been unfair in a situation or might be coming up because let's not forget, time is an illusion. Some of you could be going through this right now. You could have been going through it in the past and it's like an old story. Or some of you might be coming into this energy in the future and then this would be helpful. Some of you don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. So please, don't try to make it like you do, okay? So, yeah. Somebody could be coming in to tell somebody something about some kind of toxicity that they that's going on or, you know kind of obsession. I'm going to be obsessed with the Empress. Pegasus. I'm hearing Pegasus. I'm hearing Pegasus horse. It's a horse with wings, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Show me. Clarify the devil. The Gemini. Okay, Gemini. Ooh, the Queen of Wands in reverse. So that's high Aries energy. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. You got the King and the Queen of Wands in reverse. So, I'm, not, you know, that's a narcissistic energy too. Only now it's a, you know, it's a feminine energy. This is somebody that's deceitful and jealous and maybe toxic on drugs or obsessed with something. Obsessed with some kind of unfairness. Yeah. This Queen of Wands, this Queen of Wands in Reverse is not my favorite energy at all. This is a bitch, okay? And I would have a problem with this one. We would go nose to nose somewhere if I came across this energy outside. I really would because I don't like this. This is somebody demanding. You know, they, they're loud. They're, uh, you know, egotistical. They're all like, in your yeah, no. Uh-uh. Kick that shit to the curb. So, you, you know. Ooh. All right. Let's see what's going on here. So, but we have the Ten of Pentacles in the house. So, let's keep it that way. Um, I like the Ten of Pentacles for you. That's a win-win all the way around. Show me. Because you're not only just getting some kind of financial wealth and abundance, but you're also... Look at this! I love it! I love it! I love it! You're getting the legacy, the roots, the foundation. Now, listen. Let me tell you something. Gemini. Before we go any further, to clarify, I'm not even going to clarify the Ace of Swords. Because guess what? There's a truth coming in, okay? Or you're going out to tell the truth. Somebody's got something to say, all right? This is what I'm telling you. And it could be, you know, whatever was going on here with the King and Queen of Wands, it could be about some kind of narcissistic behavior or, you know, some kind of toxic behavior or somebody being a freaking fucking bitch. It could be. But what you have here is the Emperor and the Empress. The Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. These two belong together, okay? The fourth could be of significance now. We're April. Somebody could be born in March or April. We have Taurus and Aries here. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is, this, they belong together. This is a power couple, okay? This is the best of the best. There's nobody better than this, all right? They are leaders. People look up to both of these people. Could have been some kind of conflict here between you two. There's some kind of unfair sh thing going on that could add some toxicity. Somebody could have been acting like a bitch. But it looks like with the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to build your legacy together. You guys are the lovers. Look, it's your energy, Gemini, okay? I'm telling you. Somebody, you know, this is about... Listen, somebody's got to go on and focus. And it could be marriage. You guys could wind up married. Look at this shit. Wow, this is a good reading for you. So the love is, this is a past soulmate, like, from past lives. Okay, this is what I'm talking about when I say that. And, um, yeah. There's going to be a decision made about this. You're going to have to make a decision. I think you're going to come together. You're going to come together right now over me. Yeah, this is beautiful energy. So love from up above. It's arrived for you, Gemini. Somebody's coming in or going out, whichever way you're going, to rectify this situation. Okay? Let's get some hidden truths for Gemini. By the way, the healing sound back in the back is your uh, third eye chakra. We're working on the third eyes. Um, yeah, because you guys are air sign and you're so intelligent, right? I have uh, 448 hertz on. But you could go over to YouTube and put on whatever hertz you want that makes you happy, okay? This is about your intuition, your clarity, your awareness, your understanding. And the element is light. The third eye chakra is I see. I see, right? Because you're becoming enlightened. And the color is indigo, which is that dark blue, okay? So that's your healing sound bath. Now, if you were going to work with crystals... For your third eye chakra, it's anything light lavender. These would be perfect, right? See these little purple things here? Anything like that. So uh, you would have maybe lapis lazuli, 
um, yeah, some kind of, um, I can't even think of the name of this shit here, <laughs> Amethyst, I'm sorry, Amethyst, uh, yeah, something like this, okay, anything lavender colored, so, I remember every detail of that day, so somebody remembers every detail of something, okay, <clears throat> show me, Gemini, please and thank you, okay, somebody wants somebody, see, I'm telling you, you guys belong together. You're going to be old, get married and get old and gray. I'm seeing an onk, an Egyptian onk. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> you guys go way back, way, way back. Some, I'm seeing the McDonald arches. Somebody might be going to McDonald's. Mickey D's. I'm hearing Mickey D's. Mickey D's. You and I were too young. Oh, so maybe that's what this problem was. Maybe you need to grow up a little, each of you. Anything else? Somebody's coming into extend an olive branch. They're just walking away from this first. Okay. And last but not least, finding out the truth crushed me. So there's some kind of truth that came out. Now, this doesn't always have to be from the same person. You could be thinking of these things. Somebody else could. But nobody's got the courage to say what it is. Somebody buries themselves into work to forget everything. Did I get the kippers? Let's do that. The Gemini. Poverty. Somebody's in some kind of poverty. All right. So it could be mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, financial. Somebody could be 37 here. The 10th could be of significance. Or October. You have this. Uh, did I tell you somebody buries themselves in work to forget you? And they're sitting at work. They can't forget you. All they're doing is sitting there thinking of you. So burying themselves in work is fruitless. Uh, it, it's not working. It's a fruitful effort. So somebody, you're in somebody's thoughts here. Now somebody could be an artist of any kind. All right. Um, a painter, a writer, a graphic artist. Some kind of a, yeah creator in any way okay show me show me see a man wearing a man thong <laughs> all right maybe that was the problem maybe uh well, let's just go show me there's gonna be a change there's gonna be a significant change I'm telling you this okay the ninth could be of significance or september somebody might be moving it could be energetically, it could be physically, it could be spiritually, it could be changing jobs, changing diets, changing mindsets, thought patterns, and last but not least, you see somebody, there's going to be, somebody's coming to court somebody, again, the fourth. So four is across the board, that's Archangel's pure frequency. Somebody's really thinking, a lot, of, somebody's giving us this, a lot of thought of coming out of a time of emotional poverty, okay, this is what I'm feeling, changing shit up and going to court the person that they really want. Okay, this is going to be a privileged lady when this happens. The third could be of significance to the 12th or March or December. Now, let me get you some letters. Gemini, we love you. Thank you again for joining us. We so appreciate it. Here we go. Your letters, Gemini. Okay. I'm hearing Billabong, Billabong. Is it, what is that? I know what that is. I don't know what it is. I know what it is. I don't know what it is. You in? <laughs> okay, Ling. I was going to say Ling. Lin, 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 Lin. Two A's, two O's. Lynn, B, 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 B. Three A's. So, triple A. Watch the road, guys. E, U, O. Two O's. All right. M, G. You have um, two B's. G, L, N. And we have a shitload of vowels. Three A's, two O's, U, E, I. Thank you, Gemini. We love you. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God, karma, Israel. Till next time, love and light.